Hey guys, the Red Scourge here, and welcome to the very beginning of my Miami Death Penalty Dynasty. So I was able to actually get this to work in the Dynasty Editor, so I didn't have to do a Team Builder team, which I'd personally prefer. Um, so yeah, as you see here, we're one star, and things don't look good. You look at the overall and the offense and defensive rating up there, 21, 20, and 25. I didn't think it could be that low. But this is a team of all walk-ons, so um, yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm not going to get too much into the minutia of how I set this up. Um, I got the idea from someone on a Flimlow Raps Facebook group, and they were just talking about doing a death penalty dynasty. I'm not sure if they did it. I uh, wish I could shout out their name, but I don't remember. Essentially... I simmed the first season like it was normal, and at the end of that season made all those players punters, and then cut them all, and it forced the game to um, create all these walk-ons. After that, I went into the editor, changed the prestige rating, and then changed all the pitches. I'm just going to take a quick look at that now. So we're bad. Conference Prestige is still the highest. I'm leaving them in the ACC. I'm basing this whole thing off the SMU death penalty in the late 80s. That was the only football death penalty handed down so far by the NCAA, so I'm basing it on that. Um, I believe SMU stayed in the Big 8 uh, after after they started playing football again in 1988. So I'm leaving them here. It's going to be a real struggle for this dynasty. I wasn't able to lower Coach Prestige anymore. I don't know how that exactly works. I zeroed it out in the editor and it's still coming up as B plus. Uh, but I, I lowered things like academic prestige, athletic facilities, just to make it more of a challenge. But SMU as a program was uh, impacted all the way around, or I should say as an academic institution was impacted all the way around by that scandal. So I wanted to kind of recreate that as best I could. And so let me just show you guys the roster real quick and show you how bad it is. Because I've had walk-ons before, and, you know, obviously they're not good, but I didn't remember them being this bad. And, yeah, uh, my kicker is the best. And it's just all downhill from there. So what I'm going to do is this first year there will be no recruiting and I'll be able to recruit next year with limited scholarships. I want to go back and try to figure out how many scholarships SMU was allowed to give out the first year. It's kind of hazy on the internet because it's kind of general numbers, like they lost 55 scholarships within a four-year period, and it's stuff like that where it's not super clear in, in 1987, uh, or I'm sorry, in 1988, how many scholarships they were able to give out. In 1987, there was absolutely no football for SMU. All the team could do was conditioning drills without pads, so not even any classroom stuff. And in '88, they played seven away home. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, seven away games, and there were no bowl games. So I'm going to do that too. Uh, the bowl game ban. I'm playing on Heisman as I usually do, so I'm probably not going to get to a bowl game in this first couple years, anyways. My vision for this channel is to do highlights because I know for me I don't like to sit through a full game's worth of stuff uh, of other guys uh, NCAA content even if it's really great so I'm going to try to do highlights and just kind of figure out what works the best for this channel moving forward uh, they're going to be pretty short videos when I get to recruiting eventually I'm going to have that uh, in those week to week videos I'm not sure if I'm going to do commentary over the gameplay in general I know the first game I'm going to because I have not played with this team yet and I'm not going to do so before I record a video for it so I think for me anyways this is going to be a pretty funny uh, Benny Hill type moment I'm foreseeing maybe we can get some yakety sax playing in the background I don't know these players probably won't be fast enough for Benny Hill and yakety sax but I think it's kind of a fun idea to do a death penalty. I'm, as I said, I'm not the first. I'm sure I'm not the first with the YouTube channel doing this. But if you guys have any comments or want to know more about how I set this up, if there's a bit of interest, I'll put up a video showing how I was able to do it. It took a lot of messing around with the generic editor to get that part to work. But if you're interested, it's a, it's a pretty fun thing. Until next time, I appreciate you guys checking out the channel. 
And my next video will be week three, the Miami Hurricanes at Wake Forest. And it'll be a doozy. See you guys in the next one.